Hey guys, welcome back to Ever RC. If you haven't subscribed, please click subscribe and like this video as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you the suspension geometry that you can adjust on your D12, such as the caster, the camber, as the toe as well, which we have shown in the product description. And uh, two tools you need will be a tweezer and also a screwdriver, a plus screwdriver. So I'm going to remove the top front cap first by pulling this tab here. Then remove the headlight connector. So the easier part I'm going to show you to uh, adjust is the camber. So camber means uh, if you're looking at this wheel, is to adjust it to uh, like this or this. Means leaning towards inside. I mean the top part of the wheel leaning towards inside or to the outside. If it's leaning towards the inside, it's a negative camber. Leaning outside, it's a positive camber. So for drifting, normally we want uh, some certain degree of uh, negative camber. So you can adjust it by uh, first prying out the, the plastic rod end here. And then just whether you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise. If you turn clockwise, then it's for more negative camber as this turnbuckle is moving towards inside. And just to note that I have actually cut my a bit of plastic material here to gain a more negative camber. So like for example, uh, this one round, then this link will go towards inside, pulling the top part of the wheel inside so you get more negative camber. So let's say if I turn clockwise then the turn buckle or this rod end will come out further uh, giving it more uh, positive camber okay but for drifting you want uh, negative camber then another thing is your toe in toe out adjustment over here so let's say I use tweezer to pry it again carefully All right so if I rotate clockwise again oops okay so it came out clockwise one round then it will pull the wheel in which causes a more toe out as the inner side is going in and then the outer side is uh, opening up so let me put it so I just reset back to my previous setting then put it back so I forgot to explain what is toe in toe out let's say your wheel is like this according to my my palm so if it's like this means uh, toe out if like this means uh, toe in and uh, each has its own uh, advantage then another thing is the caster okay if you are wheeling if you are wheeling from this side caster means uh, to adjust your, your geometry like this or like this right so from factory it's actually a zero and then uh, I adjust it I adjusted it to uh, to be like this so I believe if it's here, I think it's uh, negative and then like this is positive, I think. So you can adjust it by uh, loosening these two screw over here. Alright. And you can slide this. You can slide it forward or backward. You see that? Slide it forward and backward. It is a bit tight on mine. I think it's due to the suspension with the lowered adjustment. Okay, so in my case, what I want is more like this, so my camber works. That's why I, I push it. I push this slider back. Okay, so the screw position becomes. Uh, at the, at, the, at the front side okay make sure it's equal and then tighten it so caster is not a common adjustment so i'm not very sure about this then one more thing i forgot to mention is the adjustability of the right height uh, by adjusting the screw over here so by default there's no screw or grub screw on on this location on this hole you have to use your own screw and uh, supposedly if you use a grub screw it's better but I use an uh, allen key screw here which also works so you can see now my front is lower so if let's say I release this screw this height will go up see that 
So you see this side is higher. Because if when you screw this down, you push the arm, the upper arm up, and then that will drop your chassis height. So that's about it about the tips on adjusting the front suspension geometry of your WPL RC D12. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So YouTube will recommend more video like this to you guys and uh, more people will benefit. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on another video. Bye.